In this section, you will learn how you can change the terminal assignment of the inverter. We are starting in the project overview. Click the 8400 High Line C in the project tree. The device overview will open. Click the Terminal Assignment tab. You can view the terminal assignment of the digital inputs and their status. This dialog serves to set the assignment of the digital and analog terminals. Please note, the representation is similar to the 8400 State Line C. The procedure is the same. We'll now show you the change of the terminal assignment for the 8400 High Line C. First, we set the digital input terminals. You can assign special functions to the digital inputs 1 and 2 as well as to the digital inputs 6 and 7. For example, the evaluation of an encoder. Detailed information on this can be found in the Engineer Online Help. The dialog shows on the left the digital inputs provided. In the middle, the arrangement of the terminals on the device. On the right, the mask for setting the inputs. First, you have the possibility of changing the terminal level. Here you define whether the terminal is high active or low active. One click on the icon switches the activity over. In the next input field, you can set the debounce time. By this, you avoid switching errors or the incorrect interpretation of the terminal. In the column on the right, you assign the function to the terminals. Click the button with the three points. This selection window displays all digital functions which the device can evaluate. You can also assign several functions to one terminal at the same time. By clicking, you assign the desired function to the terminal. With OK, you confirm your selection. The dialog for the digital outputs is structured identically. On the left, you see the digital outputs provided. In the middle, the arrangement on the device is shown. On the right, the mask for setting the outputs is shown. The levels for the digital outputs can be set as well high active or low active. You can set delay times for switching the terminal on and off. Here you assign internal status functions to the terminal. The analog terminals are changed in this dialog. On the left, again, the analog inputs and analog outputs with the currently applied currents and potentials. In the middle, again, the arrangement on the device. On the right, the mask for setting the terminals. Here you see all analog functions which the device can evaluate. Again, by simply clicking, you assign a function to the terminal. To an analog input as well, several functions can be assigned. Via the analog outputs, you can output internal status signals as an analog signal. Click Application Parameters. You are now in the device overview again. Now you have changed the terminal assignment successfully. To complete the section, we'll now save the project with the change parameters non-volatilely in the device. You can then read it out again from the device anytime. Click the icon with the red floppy disk in the menu bar. Confirm the following dialog with Next. The transmission will start automatically. After the transmission has been completed, you are in the device overview again. In Section 1, Creating a Project, we have shown you how to save the project to your computer. You have completed this section successfully.